guys? It's Mami Chaan of All About Faith, Love, Hope and welcome to our YouTube channel. It's been a while guys, how are you? So okay, today I will be filming a very important topic, lalo na sa mga mommies na malapit ng mga anak. Um, I have been receiving comments dun sa previous video ko about feel health. So might as well, sundan na natin siya ng new video na related sa panganganak. Okay, let's start with the video but I'll give you a little background. I gave birth via a scheduled cesarean delivery sa isang private hospital sa province. Okay, now let's move on to the real content. So my real content is about how much did we spend nung ako ay nanganak no March. This is a complete detailed uh, hospital bill na meron kami nung nanganak na ako. Okay, so separated tong bill na to into two. First is yung mommy's bill, and then the second one will be my baby's bill. Magkahiwalay kasi siya. Okay? So, sa mommy's bill, dun sa hospital bill particulars, ito yung included yung room, emergency room, um, operating room, kasi nga, um, cesarean delivery ako, pharmacy, etc. Ito yung mga hospital bill. Ito mga included sa hospital bill. So, your total amount was 28,759 pesos and 50 cents. Yun yung total bill. Hindi pa doon deducted yung PhilHealth. Since nga naka-avail ako ng full benefit ng PhilHealth, maternity benefit ng PhilHealth. So, na-less doon yung PhilHealth, which was 11,400. So, yung total bill na binayaran ko for mommy, um, hospital bill, was 16,673 pesos and 50 cents. So, imagine kung walang field health, 28,000 yung babayaran ko. Almost 29,000. But because of field health, um, naging 16,673. Now, guys, this just a disclaimer. I'm not like, hindi ko pinababang mo yung pangalan ng field health in this video. But still, even though maraming um, lumalabas na issue about feel health, um, nag-risk ako na bayaran yung aking contribution before ako mga anak. And I was able to avail full maternity benefit. And it really helped us a lot, lalo na sa bill. Kasi nga, as you know, um, yung cesarean delivery, pricey na siya even before pandemic. And mas pricey siya ngayon na may pandemic. Nakaka-avail pa rin naman ng mga benefits ng feel health, even if ang dami-dami issues about them. So, before you give birth, please, please do pay your PhilHealth contributions. Suggestion lang. Hindi to sponsor ng PhilHealth. <laughs> okay, so yun tapos na tayo sa hospital bill. Next is the professional fee. Magkahiwalay kasi yun eh, may breakdown dun sa aming bill um, for mommy. First is yun nga hospital bill and now the professional fee. So, parang mura no, yung hospital bill na 28 lang siya. Um, even without feel help. Pero dito sa professional fee, talaga, talaga kami na-stress ba? Na-stress? Yeah. So, sa professional fee, divided siya sa three doctors, yung OBGYN, and then yung anesthesiologist, kasi nga, uh, dahil sa cesarean delivery, and then, I'm not sure if assistant ba yung matatawag sa isang doctor na yun. Basta, alam ko siya yung nag assist dun sa anesthesiologist and dun sa OBGYN. So, yun, tatlo sila, and yung total ng professional fee nila without feel help pa to ha, is 50,600 pesos. Silang tatlo. Dun, dun biglang lumaki yung bill. So, okay, yung feel help na na-avail namin for the professional fee of the doctors, 7,600. So, ang total professional fee na binayaran namin was 43 thousand pesos. So, total, pag wala kang feel health, for mommy pa lang to ha, pag wala kang feel health, ang babayaran mo is 79,359 pesos and 50 cents. Pero pag may feel health ka, ang babayaran mo for mommy will be 59,673.50. Ayun, nakasave ka na 19,686 because of feel health. 
Yan na rin ba? Guys, again, hindi to sponsored ng PhilHealth. And also, hindi pare-pareho yung prices ng mga doctors. So, please, please do ask your OBGYNs kung magkano yung possible na kailangan yung bayaran. Kasi nagbibigay naman sila ng amount, guys. You ask your OBGYNs for recitation. Kung tingin nyo malaki, yung ano, edi maghanap na kayo ng ibang OBGYN or hospital. Yung mga iba namang mga doctors, nagpapaanak sila sa public, sa private, though ngayon nga, na pandemic, and most of the public hospitals, eh, nandun yung mga COVID cases. Some of the doctors, hindi sila nagpapaanak doon. Lalo na yung mga for private, parang i-send ka nila or ituturo ka nila sa private hospital, based on my experience. Ha? And I will be like sharing that with you on another video. But dito kasi specific to for the hospital bills. So, let's move to my baby's bill. So, ito yung bill ni baby. Of course, baby pa naman sila. Kaunti lang din yung bill nila. Okay, yung hospital bill ni baby includes the room, the laboratory, the NICU. Kasi si baby nagstay siya sa NICU. And I will be sharing that on another video as well. Bakit siya nasa NICU? So, yung total hospital bill ni baby was 6,527 pesos. Not bad. And then, ay, by the way guys, nagstay kami sa hospital ng around 5 days. Almost 5 days. Alam ko nung ika-fifth day namin, doon kami umuwi. And then, by the way, doon sa hospital bill, fully paid siya ni PhilHealth. Wala kaming binayaran doon sa 6,527. Good job, PhilHealth. And then now, we go to the professional fee. Doon sa PIDIA na tumingin kay baby. Ang fee nung PIDIA was 12,170 pesos. And then, dito naka-avail kami ng PhilHealth which is 5,570 pesos. So, yung total na binayaran namin for baby is 6,600 pesos. Yun lang yung cash out namin kay baby. Okay, to summarize, yung bill ni baby without PhilHealth, ang babayaran dapat namin sa kanya is 18,697 But since with PhilHealth nga, ang binayaran lang namin para sa kanya is 6,600. Okay na yung pag-mixin naman namin. <laughs> Guys, may kodigo ako dito. So, no, yun nga. Summarize na natin. Mommy plus baby's bill. Ito na yung magiging parang total cash out nyo without PhilHealth and with PhilHealth. Okay. Without PhilHealth, mommy and baby total 98,056 pesos and 50 cents. Diba? Kung walang PhilHealth, almost 100,000 yung kailangan nyo yung ilabas. But with PhilHealth, ang total cash out lang namin is 66,273 pesos and 60 cents. Ayun guys, sobrang uh, pricey, mga nak. Even before pandemic, pricey na siya. Pero parang doble nga yun. Magplan na kayo guys. And I hope this video will help you makapag-budget, makapag-prepare. And aside from this bill, may mga kailangan pa kayong bayaran na I will share in another video. Take care guys. Thank you so much for watching. Till our next vlog. Bye!